Heavenly Father, I pray Psalm 61 over all your children and the persecuted lambs and over myself as your child from the King James Version Bible from your word. Psalm 61 to the chief musician upon Neganah, a Psalm of David. Hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. Father, I pray that you hear the cries of your children and the persecuted lambs in my cry, O Lord, my Father God, and that you attend unto the prayers of your children and the persecuted lambs and my prayers everywhere in the world, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, from the end of the earth will I cry unto thee when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Father, I thank you from the end of the earth will your children and the persecuted lambs cry unto thee when their hearts is overwhelmed, that you will lead your children and the persecuted lambs and myself to the rock that is higher than I, that is higher than your children and the persecuted lambs in Jesus' name. But thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. Father, I thank you that you have been a shelter for me and all your children and the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world and a strong tower from the enemy for your children and the persecuted lambs and myself everywhere in the world. In Jesus' name, I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of thy wings. Selah. Father, I thank you that your children and the persecuted lambs and myself will abide in thy tabernacle forever. And your children and the persecuted lambs and myself will trust in the covert of thy wings. O Lord, Selah, in Jesus' name. But thou, O God, hast heard my vows. Thou hast given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. For thou, O God, I thank you that you have heard the vows of your children and the persecuted lambs in my vows, and that you have given your children and the persecuted lambs in myself the heritage of those that fear thy name. And I thank you that your children and the persecuted lambs in myself, we fear thy name, Father God, in Jesus' name. Thou will prolong the king's life and his years as many generations. Father, just like you will prolong the king's life, just like you prolong the king's life of King David, and you have, Father God, given him many years as many generations, I thank you, Father God, that you will prolong the lives of your children and the persecuted lambs in my life and give us many years as many generations as well, just like you did for King David, Father, in Jesus' name. He shall abide before God forever. Oh, prepare mercy and truth, which may preserve him. Father, I thank you, Father, that you shall abide with your children forever. We, your children and the persecuted lambs, and myself will abide before you, Father God, forever. To trust in you, and I pray that you prepare mercy and truth for your children and all the persecuted lambs and for me to extend your mercy and truth to all your children and the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world which may preserve your children your mercy and your truth which may preserve your children and the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world and myself Father God in Jesus Christ's name so will I sing praise unto thy name Forever, that I may daily perform my vows. Father, I thank you that your children and the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world and myself will sing praises to your name forever, Father God, so that your children and the persecuted lambs and myself may daily perform our vows unto you, Father God, of course, in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I thank you that Psalm 61 verses 1 through 8 is done in the lives of your children and the persecuted lambs in my life everywhere in the world, Father, according to your word in Psalm 61 verses 1 through 8 in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Oh, no.